All right, welcome back, everyone. It's so high here, and in this video, we're back with another Borderlands 3 legendary gear guide. And this will be showing you guys how to get the legendary Ancient Shield exclusive to the new Designer's Cut DLC, the Madcap. Red text is sometimes there is no next time. Fight for your lifetime reduced by 50%, plus 25% max capacity, plus 40% capacity, minus 10% max health. Triggers 18,959 damage Nova when shield breaks. Capacity is 109,370. Recharge delay is 2.6. Recharge rate is 5,239. Capacity Turtle Nova. This one grants you 13% resistance to Cryo, but you can actually get this in any element you want, including non-elemental. In order to, if you want to get this shield from the chest, you're going to be looking for the chest at the bottom left right there. There are actually two chests that you can actually get this shield from. It's the one with the gas mask as well. It's, uh, as you can see it right there, bottom left, there's two chests that actually drop this. As you can see, I actually get mine from one of the chests, as you can see right here. There it is right there, the Mad Cap. You can get this thing from the chest that I showed you on the map. You can get this thing as a world drop within arms race. And you can get this thing from the final boss in arms race. Now I'm going to be showing you guys the decreased fight for your lifetime. As you can see here, this is me without the shield, how fast my fight for my lifetime was going down. And now here is me with, with the shield on. As you can see, it is going down a lot faster. So you're going to get that minus 50% fight for your lifetime, but uh, it's uh, there, it's going to give you so much more shield capacity, hoping that you know you don't go down as much. That's the reason it has so much capacity, because you're going to get 50, minus 50% fight for your lifetime. Uh, I also show off right here exactly how fast the shield recharges. There is a lot of capacity. The recharge rate is not that fast because of how much the capacity is on the shield. So it does take you a minute, uh, well, a second to actually get your shield back up to, you know, a nice, healthy position. But there is, uh, as you can see, there is 109,000 capacity on the shield. This has to be one of the highest capacity shields in the game at the moment, if not the highest. I can't think of one that's higher than this one. Uh, unless my memory is just failing me right here, you guys can let me know in the comment section if I'm if I'm forgetting a shield that might have more capacity than this one. But as of right now, I think this shield definitely has the most capacity. Uh, this is just base capacity in the game at the moment. Uh, overall, what do I think of the shield? It's I mean it's not a terrible shield, but I wouldn't use it over you know a lot of the other ones. Uh, builds that this sh shield could work good in, I guess, with a Moe's build, where, you know, where you buff up her shield a lot, uh, and then maybe you could throw on, like, a Deathless, and you would just get a ton of shield capacity. I mean, I don't really know why you would need that much shield capacity, because I imagine it, it will be a lot, but, you know, if you want to do that, you can, uh, but, I mean, other than that, I really wouldn't use this thing over the top shields in the game, you know, like Frozen Heart, uh, stop gap and you know like the old god I wouldn't use this shield over any of those unless you just have a build that it works really well in then you can use it but me personally uh, I wouldn't use any use it over any of those shields I would just stick with what I got there uh, you know you're getting that minus 50 fight for your lifetime it is a high, very high capacity shield as you can see but, I mean, the effects of all of those other shields that I named are just a lot better than this one, in my opinion. And I, I wouldn't use it over those. But, yeah, that's all I have in this video, guys. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.